Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. In the last video we discussed about the classification of lipids, a short summary in 8 minutes. In this video we are going to discuss about fatty acids, what is the difference between saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, what do you mean by cis and trans fatty acids and also which of the fatty acid is good for our health. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. What are fatty acids? Let's begin with an example. This is a fatty acid. Fatty acids are long chain hydrocarbons. As you can see, long chain hydrocarbons, carbon and hydrogen is bonded with a carboxyl group at one end. There is a COOH group at one end. This is a saturated fatty acid called as palmitic acid where carbon is carbon number is 16 C16 H32 O2. Normally the number of carbon ranges from 4 to 36. Often it will be between 12 to 20. So this is a saturated fatty acid as it contains only single bonds. As you can see the carbon-carbon bond is single bonded. So it is denoted as 16 is to 0 indicating that there are 16 carbon atoms and there is no double bonds. Now the second one, unsaturated fatty acid. In the case of unsaturated fatty acids like linoleic acid, there will be double bonds. It can be one or more as you can see and it is denoted as 18 is to 2 indicating that the, this linoleic acid has 18 carbon atoms then two double bonds delta 9 and 12 indicating the position of the double bond. First one at the ninth carbon position and the second one at the twelfth carbon position. Now let us discuss the physical properties of fatty acids. Physical properties depends on this chain length, fatty acid chain length and also the degree of unsaturation or the number of double bonds. The fatty acids will be less soluble if the chain length is very high and also if the number of double bond is very less. That is why saturated fatty acids has high melting point and also it is solid at room temperature as, there, as it doesn't have double bonds. Let's make it more clear. So this is saturated fatty acid. As you can see, it is closely packed there is strong interaction between the chains therefore to disrupt these more temperature is required that is why there is high melting point for saturated fatty acid therefore it is solid at room temperature whereas in the case of unsaturated fatty acid as you can see molecules are not that much closely packed there are double bonds that causes some bends therefore this interaction between the chains will be very less compared to the saturated fatty acids. Therefore, it requires low temperature for disruption. That is why it is liquid at room temperature. So, if unsaturated fatty acids are present, the molecular interaction between chains will be very less. Therefore, it is very easy to dislodge. That is why it is having low melting point. So, unsaturated fatty acids are liquid at room temperature. Now, there are different types of fatty acids, saturated, cis and trans, unsaturated fatty acids. Which of the following is good for our health? First, let us see the difference. First one is saturated fatty acid. We have already discussed fatty acids without double bonds. As you can see, the same example, palmitic acid. So, we should limit it as it increases cardiovascular diseases, raises blood cholesterol level, and this saturated fatty acids includes butter, heavy cream or solid stuffs or solid fats. Now what is the difference between cis unsaturated fatty acid and trans unsaturated fatty acid? First one is natural unsaturated fatty acid. Cis means as you can see this is a double bond, carbon double bonded to carbon. If the hydrogen is on the same side of the carbon-carbon double bond it is called as the cis as you can see the hydrogen is on the same side of the double bond double bonded carbon then it is called as cis and this is a natural unsaturated fatty acid and that is good for health 
it lowers cholesterol level it is good for heart and provides essential fats that the body needs that is present in almond then nuts vegetable oils etc and the third one is trans unsaturated fatty acid this is called as trans as you can see this is a double bonded carbon the hydrogen is on the opposite side on the carbon carbon bond one hydrogen on this side and another hydrogen on this side that is why on opposite side that is why this is called as trans unsaturated fatty acid or tfa it is formed by hydrogenation of vegetable oils this is what is actually happening this is double bonded hydrogen is added that makes it single bonded hydrogen is added so in bakeries tfa is used as the texture has changed so that it's good for making pastries or icings on cake etc but these fatty acids are not good for health as it raises the chance of heart diseases and also raises the bad cholesterol level so as per the recommendation this should be avoided this is widely used in bakery items so this is a recommendation as per the american heart association and saturated fatty acid it's good for health that provide essential fats for our body whereas the saturated ones this solid one that is butter heavy cream etc we should limit it as it can increase cardiovascular diseases or raises bad cholesterol whereas this tfa or unsaturated trans fat that is very dangerous so we need to lose it or avoid it as much as possible as it increases heart diseases and also raise blood cholesterol level you can visit this site heart.org for more and that's it hope you understand the difference between all these terms thank you so much for your support you are with biologyexamsforyou.com please subscribe share and like this channel